So, guess what came in the mail today? Yeah! Okay, let me tell you the whole story. So I'm browsing through Twitter, and I find a tweet that went along the lines of Hatsune Miku V2 for sale on Yahoo Japan auctions for $3! I don't care if she won't run on my computer, I need her now! It's a piece of history! And so, on a sheer whim, I signed up for Bai, which is this proxy service for shipping things internationally. I'm not sponsored, nor will I ever be, but this is important context. Anyway, I explore the site a bit more. I bid a little bit on the Miku V2, as well as an Ia figurine, which the starting price was less than one cent. And then I find the CDs. There were 12 hours left on their auction, and there were no bids so far. I thought these were bootlegs at first, until I looked at the other listings, and they also looked the same. There were $10 a CD, so I thought, hey, let's buy these CDs, no one else bid on these yet, I could totally get these. So guess who won the auction that night? I didn't win Miku or Ia, but it's okay, cause I think I found something even better. Which leads us to today. This just came in like an hour or so ago, and well, I'm, I'm intrigued as to what is actually in here. So let's open this bad boy up. Uh, boys, plural. All right, so yeah, these are nice, despite being in the the world's thinnest jewel cases. All three volumes of the Waka soundtrack series, I guess. And I don't know if there are any more, though. I originally thought these were like bootlegs, but they're not. Oh, they, they fell apart. Nice. But th luckily, these are easily replaceable, so I'm not too mad. I have a couple of Vocaloid CDs coming along the way, too. So, okay, that was decent enough. That, that's pretty cool. If only you saw my setup right now. I am in extreme pain right now. Yeah, unrelated, but I'm short on money right now, so to save, I stacked up a lot of books on my laundry hamper, along with a phone stand and a bank held together by tape. I promise I'll get something better, just hang tight, okay? And of course, here's the one, the only, Lily, aka best girl. Now that we've analyzed all these, why don't we hear them for a bit, hmm? All right. Of course, as I'm picking it, these up, they're all falling apart at the seams, but whatever. So to properly test these all out, I have a Bluetooth speaker, this Walkman here, and, um, oh yeah, an AUX cord. Because this thing doesn't have its own speaker, I mean, why would you expect it to? All right. Let's set things up, and then we can truly test these things up. In you go. Okay. You have got to be joking. Of course the battery is low! Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> In you go. Alright, so it seems to be working pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. I noticed that a lot of these CDs don't have a ton of songs on them, but that's fine. I mean, I don't expect them to. And of course, there are the full versions of Let You Dive and With You, which means my money from the iTunes store has been worthless! But it's okay, it doesn't matter. But yeah, these CDs are pretty good. I, I am very happy with this. This is good. I don't know how to end this video. <laughs> but I, future me, do know how to end this video. I've had a love for CDs for a long, long time. I've always liked collecting them and listening to them in the car because Lord knows I have a burning hate for subscriptions of any kind. 
Plus, you never know if a song on Spotify gets removed for copyright or it becomes unlistenable in your country for some other bullshit reason. And to find physical media from my favorite games or movies will always be a win to me. I mean, how else did I get my three Digital Star CDs, hmm? Because I totally didn't get them at FYE at my local mall. I would want to make a video about my CDs and talk about them, but honestly, who would care? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Thank you for watching till the end. Uh, like and subscribe? I don't know, man. Why would I care?